2011 Chevy Silverado 5.3 came in with the uh, oil pressure warning light going across the dash and oil pressure would be near zero at an idle according to the gauge in the vehicle when he came to a stop. That was after a long run on the freeway no oil pressure at a stop. Uh, didn't know for sure if it was a sending unit or the really it did have low oil pressure. Uh, there's a plug. You can see it right there. Threads right into the side of the block. You take that plug out. Takes an Allen wrench. Unscrew it. And then I threaded the I threaded my oil pressure gauge fitting into that. It's just an old oil pressure gauge that I've had for about 40 years and run it up under the windshield. So, and that gives you live oil pressure right there coming right from the pump. I uh, will continue. Hot oil pressure. As you can see the gauge is reading uh, oh, 22 pounds roughly. But the live gauge that's threaded into the oil pressure port is reading about 30 pounds. Yeah. So, for some reason, the engine gauge is off. Could be the sending unit, could be the gauge package. But what happens is when it gets real hot after he's driven it down the freeway this will get low enough to where it'll it'll announce on here low oil pressure and start ringing bells when in reality you know I've driven it now uh, about 20 miles not on the freeway but all around town got it as hot as you'll get it in town it's about 50 degrees today so we got you know good hot good, good I'd say hot oil but not super hot oil and uh, yeah, so there's the deal. It's either the gauge or the sending unit. Now to change the sending unit, you know, that's behind the intake manifolds. No picnic to do that, but we may try it. <laughs> 